Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 215. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 215 to 219. Hey, this trick 215 is based on Magic Trick 213. In that trick, we had a little data set. We created a unique identifier, and we had our data extracted over here. So if I changed this, the extracted records would change. Not only that, but we had it set up as a table, so when we added new records to the bottom, it would update. Now, here's a problem. What is, since the, this range of data is always changing, how do we set a print area? In essence, we want a dynamic print area. Right now, we'd like to print out that, but if we change the uh, criteria here, we then want it to change to this. Well, first, um, before we see how to do it dynamically, let's just see how to set print area. Now, <clears throat> in 2007, you go to Page Layout, and then Print Area, and then Set Print Area. In 2003, you go to the File menu, and then Print Area, Set Print Area. And there you go. Now we have this. I'm going to use <clears throat> the keyboard shortcut Control F2 to look at print preview and you can see it got those values. Now I'm going to click escape. Print preview is in the file menu or in the orb. <coughs> now let's change the criteria. And what happens? Whoops. Okay, so we have all these blanks. So now if we control F2, we can see we have some blanks. So how do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and see if we can figure out uh, a way to do this. We're going to still use that print set print area. In fact, let's go and see that when you set a print area, it's actually a name. Now, names in uh, 2007 are under formula. Names define a uh, name manager in 2003. It's insert uh, and then names. The keyboard shortcut is Control F3, and there it is. You can see there's a print area. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a named range that's a formula that will pick up dynamically uh, the, the uh, data and the headers and footers. And then we'll replace that print area name with our dynamic name. All right, how are we going to do this? Let's use our keyboard shortcut Control F3. And we're actually going to create a new name. And we're going to name it something smart, <coughs> like um, print area, I'm going to say offset, because we're going to use the offset function. And then I'm going to come down here. Notice there could be a workbook or uh, a worksheet level uh, scope. We want it for the whole workbook. Comments, uh, dynamic range for printing extracted records. All right, we're going to use the offset function. Offset equals offset. Now, I've done lots of other videos on this. The offset function will define a range for us. Now, um, there's five arguments here. The first argument to the offset, and I'm going to click this right here so we can collapse down. The first argument is where is uh, the upper leftmost cell where this data set starts? So it's going to be G22, comma, the second argument is from that starting point, do you want to go up, uh, down, or up any? No, we want to stay in G22, so I'm going to type a 0, comma. The third argument is, from this position, do you want to go to the left or right any? Left would be negative, right would be positive, positive columns. No, we want to stay in G22, uh, so I'm going to put a 0, comma. The uh, next argument is how tall is it? Now, here's our trick. We're going to say count if, open parentheses, and what do we want to count? Well, we're going to count this whole range. Actually, we'll do this range right here because these are numbers. If you remember from uh, the, the last video, these were numbers, these were text, these were text strings. But we'll do numbers right here. We want to count this whole range, comma, and what do we want to count? Oh, are our criteria close parentheses. So right now, this will give us 2. Now, that won't work because what we want is 3, right? 1, 2, 3. So we have to add 1 here. 
comma. And since our columns are always the same, one, two, three, four, we could put a four here. If it was dynamic, we could use something similar to that. Close parentheses. Now I'm going to actually copy this, because I know that's hard to see right there. <clears throat> and I'm going to uncollapse and then click OK. And watch this. Once you have a formula here, you can then check to see if it's working right by clicking the Collapse button. And there it is. It looks like it's working. Now, let's click Uncollapse and then Close. Let me just put this formula right here. And watch, when you hit uh, Enter, it gives you a value error because it, it, <laughs> it's not really meant to do that. It's defining a range right there. But there's the formula. So if you want to hit pause and see that, I also have it printed up here. But that's the formula. Here's the starting point. We're going down and over zero rows and columns. We're counting. We get two. We add one right here. So we get one, two, three. And finally, there's four columns. So it defines a range. I'm going to click Escape. I'm going to click Delete. And now let's see if this works. Well, right now, it won't work because the print area is still the print area. So let's go back to Control F3, Name Manager, or Define Names. And we want to click on our print area. And notice this is just a defined name. So we come down here. We can delete it. And we can use our keyboard shortcut F3 to paste a name. And there it is. I'm going to just double click that. Or you could just type equals and then type the name. Now, so this is a name here, but now we're inserting this name into another name. Is that is that OK? Does that work? You bet it does. I'm going to click uh, Close. It's going to ask me, do you want to save it? I'm going to say yes. Ooh, it's already looking good. Look at that. You can see the print area. I'm going to con um, Control F2 to look at Print Preview. And sure enough, that looks like it works just fine. Escape. Now let's change the criteria. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm going to change it to 0, 0. It, um, it looks like it worked. The uh, dotted line, which means uh, set print area, seems to work. I'm going to Control F2. Sure enough, that worked. So that is, I'll click Escape here. That's how to create a uh, dynamic uh, print area based on our earlier formulas. All right, we'll see you next trick.